Hey, what's going on, everybody on YouTube? Steve here, Raking Profit, RakingProfit.com. Welcome to this new series of men's clothing, men's clothing mastery, the creation. And I'm going to be documenting my journey creating a new course called Men's Clothing Mastery. And I kind of want to talk a little bit about why I'm creating the course, why I'm qualified, what's my goal of documenting this whole thing. And I also just want to share with you guys behind the scenes what it actually takes to create a course. I know a lot of people who follow me, they're into making money online, entrepreneurs. I got a lot of people following me who have YouTube channels and have special um, expertise in, in various areas. And I just want to document what it actually takes to create a course, what it's going to take for me to create my course. And I just want to share with you guys and be 100% transparent with the entire process and everything that goes with it. You know, I've been on YouTube for over four years and I've met a bunch of amazing people and I've been able to learn from you guys and I've been able to build multiple businesses myself and I really want to give back to you guys as much as possible. I'm super grateful for you guys. You know, we're about to hit 60,000 subscribers on the channel and it's just really a blessing to have you guys in my life. So um, I definitely want to thank you for that. So why am I creating this course, Men's Clothing Mastery, you may wonder. Well, you know, I've been in the clothing game for over four years. And if you guys don't know, clothing is actually what allowed me to quit my job. You know, I was delivering pizzas, working at gas stations, Toys R Us, Namco, the Cracker Barrel. I was living at home with my parents. I was dead broke. I was miserable. I had no freedom. And essentially, clothing is what allowed me to be able to scale up my business enough to make enough money to move out, to work for myself. And ever since then, clothing's led to a whole bunch of other opportunities. But like I've always said, I'm sure you guys know my, you know, my spiel and my story, but I'm very, very grateful for clothing. I'm very, very grateful for eBay. And clothing's definitely changed my life. And I think clothing's an amazing way to make money online. You know, I've been able to make a couple hundred dollars per month at times with eBay. I've been able to make a couple thousand dollars. There was a point where I was full time with only clothing. I was literally not selling anything but clothing, like 99% clothing. And I was able to make four to five, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less profit selling clothing on eBay. And it's just one of those things that is just consistent. Clothing can... I believe, honestly, over a lot of other products, clothing is probably going to make money for the longest time because it's in demand. It's always changing. There's so many different pieces. But anyway, anyways, we'll talk more about that later, why I believe in clothing so much and why I've always been such a big fan. I know a lot of people think it's weird, like, Steve, why are you so into clothing? Like, you make so many clothing videos. I've got passion just flowing out of my face when it comes to selling clothing, and um, I just think it's a great opportunity. So... Let's see who's in the comment section right now and let's shout some people out. I've got my laptop over here, so I'm going to shout some people out and we're going to dive into exactly what I'm going to be doing to create this course. It's not a little tiny course. I want to let you guys know. You know, if you guys have ever purchased any of my products, I've got 101 Killer Clothing Brands, which is a small guide, 102, which is a play off that first guide. It's, it's a very short PDF. Then I have Blazing Profits, which, you know, is a course about how to make money with blazers, sport coats, and suits. And that one's, you know, a lot bigger than the other two guides, but they're mostly PDFs. Um, it's a lot smaller, that's what I'm trying to say, than what I'm going to be creating. This course I'm going to be creating is going to be the ultimate course for selling clothing on eBay. It's going to be step one, step two, step 50, step 100. It's going to cover everything. And one of the main reasons why I'm creating this course is because I get questions all the time, guys. You know, my YouTube channel is getting 300 to 400,000 views per month, up to 60,000 subscribers. And I'm not saying that to impress you. I'm saying that to impress upon you that I get a lot of questions. I've got a lot of great insight into what people are challenged with and struggles. And I know a lot of you folks probably watch you know, these videos and you see people making courses and you say to yourself, well, who would buy a course when all the information is out there? And to be honest with you, that is somewhat of a fair assessment right there, because in all honesty with the internet, you could probably become a heart surgeon on the internet. Would you want to do that? No. Would you ever be qualified to do it? No. But all the information really is out there. But the big struggle is, and the insight that I've gotten from a lot of my viewers is everything's so scattered. Everything's all over the place. There's so much noise. This person's telling you that. This person's telling you that. 
you know, you go to my channel, there's a thousand videos plus. You go to other channels, there's a hundred here, a hundred there. New beginners, intermediates, advanced folks, this is of all levels, are having trouble getting through the noise. And one of the reasons I invest in courses, and I truly believe in courses, because it compiles everything in one place, step by step by step. And you know, it's overwhelming starting a new business. It is. I know what it's like. Trust me. When I first started, I had to learn everything from scratch, from brands, how to ship, how to take pictures, lighting, all the rules to eBay, PayPal. There are just so many different things to starting any business. It's just, it's a challenge. It's a challenge. So that's one of the main reasons that I'm uh, creating it. And um, yeah, what's up, Swamp Picker? Good to see you. Claire and Clutter, good to see you. Ray Davis. Uh, knowledge is money, exactly. But the problem is with knowledge, you've got to be able to apply it and take action. I don't think, I think, I don't think knowledge is power. I think it's potential power, because if you don't take action on what you know, you're not going to get anywhere. And that's another reason why I like taking courses and whatnot is because it's step by step. You feel like you've got someone in your corner. You don't feel like you're alone. And you don't have to be the smartest, brightest, most talented to make money online with clothing or with Amazon or with Kindle or with anything, but you do need to have someone that you can trust, some actionable steps that you can follow, and you need to be consistent over time. So um, into Sun by the Beach, good to see you. So let's dive into, um, so I talked about why I'm creating the course, the goal of documenting the journey of actually creating the course. Uh, who's this course for? So this course is going to be not only for the beginner, obviously, it's going to help the beginner out the most, right? Because this is going to be a humongous course. It's not going to be something really tiny. It's not going to be a little guide. It's literally going to be what the market's missing, what everybody wants, who wants to learn clothing. A step-by-step -step course with everything, videos, templates, uh, text. I mean, this is going to take a long time. This is a really, really big project. But this course is obviously for the beginner who doesn't know anything but it's also for the intermediate advanced person who's have who's having struggle struggles selling clothing maybe you don't know what type of clothing to sell maybe you're having strugg struggles with your photography or your lighting or your shipping or your keywords this is literally going to be for anybody out there now obviously if you're ma if you're already making you know 7000 a month 8000 10000 dollars a month selling clothing this course really isn't going to be for you because you've already figured it out you've made the mistakes you've gone through the struggles you've figured out what works what doesn't but i'd say that this course if you're only making you know up to $1000 $1500 a month with clothing this course is definitely going to be able to help you out and i'm going to share you know, a lot more in depth in terms of what exactly is in the course, because I mean, I literally have about 50 to 80 video ideas here and I am going to be condensing it down, but there's, you know, there's stuff obviously from the introduction to eBay, how to sign up for an eBay account, PayPal account, getting started on eBay, you know, seller limitations, basic equipment, understanding the game, risk and reward, analyzing the market, knowing your market size, bookkeeping, taxes, entity structure, organizing your um, your workspace. You know, a lot of beginner stuff as well. You know, we're going to talk about different ways to be able to source from thrift stores, garage sales, consignment stores, Facebook, Craigslist, how to inspect your items, dealing with competition. Um, I already mentioned analyzing your deals. I mean, this goes on and on and on. I'm not going to go too deep into that right now, but just know this course is going to be for pretty much all levels. Um, so that's pretty exciting right there. All right, let me share my screen with you guys and let's go behind the scenes and show you some really cool stuff of what I've been doing. Okay. Let's share my screen. Bear with me for one moment. Okay, cool. So you should be able to see my screen right now. If you could see my screen right now, definitely let me know in the comment section. Say, I see it. What's up, Polishek? Good to see you. There we go. Cool. So we are in action. Green Granny. I'm also going to get to some Q&A shortly as well. But um, all right, guys. Men's Clothing Mastery, the creation part one. This is really going to be exciting, guys, because not many people... Uh, do this. I was actually inspired to make this uh, video series but by my good friend Stefan Palernos over um, at Project Life Mastery. And he actually had created a course called Affiliate Marketing Mastery, which was another influence in the name if you haven't noticed. But he did this and he had gotten a really good, um, um, what am I trying to say? 
he was able to get his message out to his audience and it helped a lot of people and benefited a lot of people and just took them along the journey. And I thought it was really cool. So I wanted to be able to do that for you guys as well. So um, Men's Clothing Mastery, that is the name of the course. And, um, you know, people have been asking why I've been creating the course. I already mentioned before, you know, I've been getting asked by, you know, literally hundreds of people to create an in-depth course. If you guys were able to log into the back end of my YouTube and see all the comments that are coming in from over 11 to 1,200 videos I have now, you would know exactly why I'm creating this course. You know, everybody's at a different level, a different stage. People are new, intermediate, advanced. There's so many different challenges to starting a clothing business and questions. So that's the biggest thing right here. You know, you guys have been asking for it. So I decided to finally put everything else on hold, all my other businesses, everything I'm doing on hold to create this course for you guys. Um, you know, clothing changed my life and it allowed me to quit my job. You know, like I said before, my whole life from, you know, 16 up to 25 years old, 20, yeah, 25, 26 years old. You know, I was working nine to five jobs, restaurants, hospitality, you know, delivering pizzas, Namco, Toys R Us. And, you know, for me, freedom has always been one of the biggest values for me. Having that freedom, be able to wake up when I want, to do what I want, to work when I want, to be able to travel, to be able to spend time with my friends and my family. And, you know, for me, you know, I've always wanted to make a lot of money and I know I will eventually become a millionaire. That's definitely one of my goals. But for me, in all honesty, money isn't my number one driving force. It's freedom. It's being able to do what I want when I want. And when I first transitioned into reselling, I started with Craigslist. That opened up a big, big opportunity for me, a lot of freedom. You know, I was able to quit my job by just flipping bicycles on Craigslist. That led me to selling clothing. And, um, you know, to be honest with you guys, it's not one of those things where overnight in a day or two, you're going to be able to quit your job. And to be 100% transparent, you know, I was living at home with my parents when I had first quit my job over four years ago. I didn't have many bills, you know. At the time, I was dead broke. My dad was helping me to pay my car insurance. Um, you know, my biggest bills and expenses were, you know, just getting junk food or just doing things that I shouldn't be doing, drinking. And, like, my whole life was different back then. Um, I really want you guys to know that. So, you know. It's not money that drives me. It's the freedom. It's being able to help people and make a difference and see the comments come through and, you know, just have the freedom to do what I want. And clothing definitely achieved that for me and it could help, you know, for you. Now, is clothing going to make you a millionaire? No, unless you find some really scalable business model and maybe you're importing in hundreds of thousands of clothing items and you have a warehouse and 40 employees. I've never done it. I don't know how to do that. Um, but really, clothing can allow you to quit your job. It can allow you to make a couple hundred dollars a month to supplement your retirement or a couple thousand dollars or even more. You know, I have good friends like Luke with the Endless Entrepreneurs, you know, who's on pace to do a hundred thousand dollars this year in gross sales. Profit probably 40 or 50, I'm assuming, somewhere around there. You know, another one of my good friends, Ronnie with with Hearts Motor Company, he's been consistently doing over eight to ten thousand dollars a month selling clothing on eBay. So it's possible to not only make a couple hundred dollars, which is more realistic for most people, especially if you're just gonna learn clothing for it to be like an accessory and you're gonna focus on books, you're gonna focus on electronics and different things, kind of like I do nowadays. I'm not a full-time clothing seller anymore. I sell a whole bunch of different items, um, but it could definitely supplement your income and or you could even go full-time with it. So it's a, it's definitely a great opportunity and you know it helped me to change my life. And you know the thing about clothing versus other things like private label or wholesale or you know even like liquidation and stuff is with clothing it's fairly cheap to get started. I'm going to talk about some of the benefits of clothing in a couple of minutes, but anyone can get started with clothing. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of money and there's not a lot of risk and liability with with models such as like private label and wholesale. I mean those typically take a lot of money. There's lead times, there's a lot of risk, there's a lot of just you know, a lot of different things you have to learn, even more than clothing, to just get started making money. So that's why I'm creating this course. And um, one more thing I want to mention as well is I actually put out a survey to you guys. I sent it out to my email list, and there was a lot of interest in it. So um, I've made the mistake before of creating things that didn't have a demand. And I really wanted to make sure that this course would help you and make a difference. And based on that survey, which I'll talk more about later, it definitely looks like it. Um, 
it will. So why clothing? I'm going to, I'm going to mention, mention a couple reasons why, you know, I'm a big, big believer in clothing, why I love to sell clothing. And I'm one of those weirdo guys who is just really, really passionate about selling clothing. You know, I tell friends and I, you know, I make these videos and some people are like, Steve, why clothing? Like, seriously, like it's clothing, like it's used clothing. Like, why are you so passionate? Well, let me tell you right now, guys, the number one problem that I dealt with when I first started reselling was finding enough inventory. I started with selling bicycles on Craigslist and I would flip a bike for a $50 profit. You know, I'd flip a road bike, a Raleigh road bike for 80 bucks or I'd, you know, I'd pop on two specialized hard rocks at a garage sale, which were actually two of my first bikes that I picked up and I made, you know, $150 profit. But the problem was, you know, it was hard. It was competitive getting these bicycles. You know, I would snipe them off a of Craigslist or I'd get them from garage sales, but they were far and few in between. You know, maybe I'd find it at a thrift store every now and then, but I needed to find more inventory. It was a struggle. And I started to ask myself, what are some items that are plentiful, that are abundant at thrift stores? Because that's where I was starting to go. I was learning. This is over four years ago. And I said to myself, clothing, clothing's everywhere. And people just don't even care about clothing. Like people just throw clothing in the trash like it's nothing. So clothing's very, very abundant. And one thing I want to let you guys know is if you're new, maybe you're watching this video, you've never resold anything. When there's abundance, there's opportunity because things will fall through the cracks. I don't care how expensive or if prices are increasing at your thrift stores or at garage sales, people are looking items up. You know, things always go up in price. And right now, to be honest, you know, clothing items have been increasing in price. It's not the way it was a couple of years ago, but they're so abundant. There's so many opportunities. There are so many opportunities with clothing because there's just so much and people just don't even care about it. So that's the number one reason it's abundant. Number two, it's cheap. You know, you can get started on eBay with $100. You really can. Now, granted, you already have a computer or a cell phone or maybe a printer because those things do cost some money. But, you know, if you've already got basic office supplies and a computer and a cell phone and you have a window that has some light coming in, you don't need, you know, a lighting station or a photography cube. You don't need all this expensive supplies and softwares and, you know, mannequins and all these things that you know I use now which obviously can benefit you you can get started dirt cheap it doesn't take a lot of overhead there's not a lot of risk so you know clothing items are cheap and if you go on half off days at the Salvation Army or you get like your stamp card filled out you could save 30% at savers if you have those in your area you can get it cheap right uh, number three high margins where else can you buy an item for two or three bucks and flip it for 40 or 50? Now, if you're in a reselling game, you know, you know that there's probably a lot more opportunities out there, but where else can you find such abundance with items that you could pick up so cheap and flip, you know, $2 into 20 or $5 into 40 or certain suits, $10 into 150. So, you know, that's one thing that I've always loved is, is the margins. I already mentioned minimal capital. It's cheap. Uh, you know, when you're a reseller, there's always going to be competition. Uh, let's make a comparison. Amazon FBA and selling clothing on eBay. There's going to typically be a lot more competition with what's less work and a little more scalable. And you know, one of the downsides to clothing, especially if you're trying to make you know five thousand to ten thousand dollars a month profit, is it's not a very scalable model. So if you are looking for a way to be able to you know scale a business and take yourself out of the equation and you know go sip uh, you know pina coladas at the beach, clothing's not going to be for you. It takes a lot of hard work, but with that hard work comes a lot less competition because most people don't want to have to go out and pick out a bunch of clothing and inspect the clothing and possibly clean the clothing, which most of the times I don't, you know, list the clothing, pack the clothing, ship the clothing, customer service. You know, eBay in general isn't a super scalable business model. But if you're looking to make a couple hundred dollars extra up to a couple thousand dollars, and you know, even if you want to go further and beyond and put systems in place and automations and hire employees, um, you can go there, but it is, it's hard work, but that does bring a lot less competition. And, uh, you know, many times I'll go out to a thrift store or even a garage sale at like one o'clock in the afternoon and there's like jackpots just sitting there. And what I mean by jackpots is like very profitable clothing items just sitting there. It's like, it's almost like people just walk by clothing like it's nothing. Clothing and books are great opportunities. People just treat it like trash. Um, so that's definitely great for you. 
you know, it's fun. Clothing is fun. You know, you never know what you're going to come across, whether it's jeans or sport coats or, uh, you know, pants or shorts or button fronts. You know, there's accessories such as ties and belts and all those different things that kind of fall over the clothing category, uh, under the clothing category. But it's fun because you never know what you're going to come across. It doesn't get stale because you're always switching things up. And uh, let me tell you guys a little secret. Don't judge me. Everything I'm wearing right now, I know you can't see it. Well, almost everything. I actually bought these pair of jeans um, because it's hard to find jeans that fit. But mostly everything in my wardrobe is is used from a thrift store. So it's fun because you know you know what I do sometimes, guys? I'll buy like – like for example, I bought a really cool Ralph Lauren polo shirt the other day. It was one of those um, – polo shirts with like the embroidery on it and like a patch on the side. It was like super cool. Like it's probably like hundred dollars plus in the store. I'm going to wear it and then I'm going to sell it. <laughs> Why not? It's fun. Uh, clothing's always in demand, you know, until the day that we can all start walking around like, uh, you know, caveman days, butt naked, you know, clothing is always going to be in demand. And until the day that the retail stores stop selling their clothing items for such ridiculous markups, um, there's always going to be an opportunity because people want to wear brand names. They want to look cool. They want to show off their clothing. People don't spend 80 bucks on a Lacoste shirt just because it's Lacoste and the quality is so great. They want to show off that little Gator logo. They want to, they want to look good. They want to, they want to, what's the word I'm looking for? Showcase their personality and their swag. And they, you know, it just builds confidence in them. People want this brand name stuff, but it's expensive, right? So uh, Claren Clutter says, with the big pony, yes, the Ralph Lauren, it was with the big pony. Maybe I'll take a, a picture of it and show you guys later. Uh, but, you know, clothing is always in demand. And, uh, you know, there's niches within niches in clothing. You know, you can get really, really, really good learning just about vintage items, you know, d deep diving into the uh, the Woolrich items or the Pendleton items. There's a million other uh, vintage items out there that people don't even know about. But, you know, sports items. I mean, I flipped the Boston Bruins vintage uh, satin jacket the other day. I paid $15 from Savers, 15 or 16, flipped it for $79.99 plus shipping just because I knew that. Now that's kind of a dead giveaway. I feel like anybody would know that, but I bet you most people don't even know, like beginners don't even know that satin jackets of sport teams do extremely well. So there's niches within niches. You can get really, really, really good um, at a specific type of clothing item, whether it's ties or vintage items or sporting items. So that's why I love uh, clothing. So let's dive into actually, you know, the main content of this video, which is what I've actually done. And I think a lot of you guys are going to be surprised at what it takes to actually create a massive course, like the top notch course, something that just encompasses everything and not only creating the content, but all the things that go uh, behind it. So if any of you guys are ever interested in creating a course of your own, maybe you want to share with the world something that you're really knowledgeable with or your expertise, and maybe you want to help people, maybe you want to make money from a course, which, you know, obviously I'm creating the course because I want to make money and it's a great way to, you know, be able to make passive income in a sense. Um, but obviously, you know, Anything passive, I, I used to think passive income really existed, but if you want something to continue selling or doing well, whether it's an Amazon product or a course uh, or your eBay store, you always got to improve upon it. So, um, you know, creating your own course, creating something that can help people, not only will make a difference in your life because it feels good to help people, but you can make some extra money from it. You could help others to start a business and change their lives. And it's just a lot of fun. It's it's really, really fun. So uh, let's talk about what I've done so far. So the first thing I did, and I highly recommend this to all you guys who are ever considering creating something, whether it's a book, um, physical or an ebook or a video course or a guide, is if you already have an audience, you want to make sure that people would actually want to buy the course, if that makes any sense, that there's an actual demand for it. Because, you know, one example of something that I created in the past was I created a, uh, a book, which I spent so much time on. It was great. It was probably one of the number one books like ever created in that. And I'm not saying that to brag, but there was just no competition. I created a course called, um, and it was an ebook called Pawn Shop Profits. And I put all this time, all this effort into it. I went and I studied pawn shops. I was killing it at pawn shops. I documented everything. 
and it just didn't sell because most people just didn't really care about the pawn shops that much. There just wasn't a big enough audience. So what I decided to do, and if you have an audience or an email list, is you can create a survey through Google Forms and you can ask your audience a bunch of questions and you can actually get some really good feedback in terms of what they want, what they don't want, what they'd be willing to pay for the course, um, what their biggest challenges are, if they would actually buy the course. And it's a cloud-based form survey so when people are filling it out you can actually see live um, what their answers are and it like breaks down a whole pie of like would they buy it the price they would pay like any questions that you want what's their biggest challenges and that's what I did and um, I had gotten over uh, 400 was it probably over 500 responses now and 90 something percent of the people um, wanted to purchase the course um, and then it was like 5% said maybe, and it was like less than 5% said no. And, um, you know, um, what else was going to say? I found out about 25 different challenges that people were dealing with. And I don't have the survey up right now or else I would share that with you guys. But I got some really great insight in terms of like what the problems were, what were the pain points, what was holding people back. And um, it's just a very, very valuable thing to do. So even if you have a YouTube channel, guys, like Claire and Clutter, she's in the house. She has a great YouTube channel. Create a form, a survey, and, and survey your audience to see what their struggles are and what they're really interested in. So um, that was really cool right there. And that was the first thing that I did before I even decided and committed myself to creating the course. Uh, number two is I created the name of the course and um, you know I, I actually had chosen initially used clothing mastery and I had shared that with you guys and I shared men's clothing mastery those are the two that I came down with and everyone said don't do use clothing mastery so um, survey your audience again on the names as well ask them don't be scared you know because this is a journey that you guys are going going on together and that I'm going on with you guys and this is really all about you guys and helping you guys out so um, thank you so much for helping me to create the name and a lot of you guys said that you liked it and everything and said you didn't like the other one so the name of the course is actually men's clothing mastery so that was pretty cool right there uh, once I figured out the name of the course I actually purchased the domain from GoDaddy so for example you know like my website rakeandprofit.com or the website of this course mensclothingmastery.com which is actually in the middle of being built right now so if you go to that page it's gonna be kind of like a weird landing page um, so just ignore that I'm, I'm in the middle of building it but I went to GoDaddy and I purchased the domain so before you actually release your name of the course to your audience you want to make sure that that domain is available on GoDaddy and you know there's some other websites but I use GoDaddy and it was and I purchased it and make sure to go with dot com that's typically the most uh, trustworthy so um, Clear and Clutter, I already picked out the name so you can't grab it. <laughs> but I did purchase that and for like a year it was only about $10. So I locked down the name mensclothingmastery.com and I purchased that on GoDaddy. So that's like the URL of the actual website. If you guys are ever wondering how people get those, that's how you do it. Uh, the fourth thing that I did was I purchased hosting from HostGator. So to be able to have a website on the on the interweb on the internet you've got to have servers that are actually hosting it it's like memory I'm not I don't know the whole technical side but you know you know in order to have you know music on your iPhone you've got to have space for it in order to host your website on the internet you've got to have a server you've got to have memory or space I don't know how to describe it but there's websites out there like um, HostGator um, What's the other one called dream something that I use for another one of my websites but I ended up purchasing hosting from HostGator to host my website men's clothing mastery and um, it only took about five or ten minutes GoDaddy only took about five minutes or so um, so I purchased that it came out to like $75 for the year and um, once I did that you have to go in and manage like the DNS servers over on GoDaddy and essentially what you do is you just connect them both they want the server name you find the server name on GoDaddy you link it up with HostGator and then your websites up um, the next thing that I did I don't know if I mentioned it here and somebody was asking is I installed WordPress on my website so um, I am using WordPress to um, to build out my website and the course is going to be a membership course as well it's not going to be a reoccurring subscription fee or anything it's gonna be a one-time payment which I still haven't decided what I'm gonna be charging for it um, but it's gonna be like a membership login and you're gonna get access to all the videos and templates and text-based stuff so um, 
I did install WordPress, which again, literally only takes like two or three minutes. You do not have to be an expert when it comes to uh, installing WordPress. So that was the next thing that I ended up doing right there. Uh, the fifth thing that I did was I created a lead page which essentially is a waiting list on the homepage of mensclothingmastery.com. If you go there right now, you're actually not going to see it because I'm having some issues with, with lead pages right now and I'm in the middle of talking with support to get that fixed. But within the next couple of days, if you guys visit mensclothingmastery.com, it's actually going to be just like a, like a landing squeeze page. And it's going to say, if you want to learn more about mensclothingmastery.com, hop on the uh, waiting list and you're going to put in your uh, email and whatnot. And then when the course comes out and I'm probably going to do some like discounts or cool little bonuses or giveaways for people on the list, um, you'll be notified of that. So uh, I set that up. Um, Let's see what else did I do created the outline of the course now this has been probably one of the most time-consuming things that I've had to do so far which is actually creating the entire outline of the course and I've got the outline done but it I, I'm, I'm sure I'm probably gonna add some more videos or take some videos out uh, just based on the survey that that I had put out for you folks the the problems and challenges you guys were having and you know, I've got most of the outline done, but this is going to definitely probably be be a work in progress. So um, if you guys have anything you're struggling with or anything you'd like to see in the course, um, feel free to definitely leave a comment down below because this is, this is all for you guys. I, I want to help you guys out as much as possible to build your clothing business, to start making money from it as fast as possible. And any challenges, any issues, anything you're dealing with, you know, drop a line below or you could even send me an email as well. And I would love to hear uh, your feedback, but that's probably been like one of the biggest challenges is actually building out the entire outline of the course. Uh, number seven, created an email list on ConvertKit. So if you do use lead pages to build up your email list, you're going to have to have an autoresponder, an email autoresponder to be able to take those in. So I use ConvertKit and, um, I really, really enjoy ConvertKit. It's easy to use, it's intuitive, and having an email list is a great way to be able to reach out to your audience, to add value to your audience, and of course, to be able to you know, sell your products and different things like that. The eighth thing I did is I hired um, my graphic designer uh, to, I hired a graphic designer to create the logo for my actual course. And I've decided on uh, using the colors red, black, white, and yellow. I know it's a little weird, but um, I really like the colors, like 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 on the slide right here, I like the, the red and the black. I just think it looks really, really cool. Um, and if you see some of my slides, which I'll probably show you guys in like update number two, like some of my slides are like red and white, um, and then some are like black and yellow. So I'm kind of going with those colors. I, I just like those colors. So um, essentially what I did was I just explained to my graphic designer, listen, this is the concept of the course. It's gonna be a course that teaches people you know, how to master the clothing game, how to make money selling used clothing on eBay from thrift stores, garage sales, consignment shops, so on and so forth. These are the colors that I want. And then I took a couple uh, screenshots of some other logos that I liked that other people had in different industries and whatnot. And I said, can you create something similar to this? So he quoted me $50 for that. So hopefully within the next week or so, I can share with you guys uh, the logo and you guys can give me some feedback on what you what you think about the logo, which is pretty cool. Um, started creating slides for the videos on Keynote. So I actually have a Mac. I have a MacBook Pro and then I have an iMac. I use, you know, I use Apple. And you can actually create really nice, really nice um, Keynote presentations just like you're, you're looking at right now um, of whatever topic that you're, you're lecturing or teaching about. So I'm creating slides for a lot of my videos. Now my course is going to be a mix of, you know, slides like this, because I think it's a great way to be able to teach, but also it's going to be like one-on-one -on -one video with just me in it, you know, uh, videos of screen shares of behind the scenes on eBay, videos of me in my workspace showing off, you know, how I'm taking pictures, my entire workspace, my inventory system, you know, step by step A to Z. I'm going to show a whole bunch of different things, templates and whatnot. Uh, but I've been working on creating the slides for my actual course for every single module. And right now, so far, I have I think 10 or 11 different modules. So 
getting that going. And, you know, that definitely just takes time. You know, I, I just finished up module number two today um, in terms of the slides. And it took like over an hour just to get the, you know, the points down and organize my thoughts. So um, it just takes time. But, you know, it takes time to create something that's really great and something that really helps out a lot of people. So it's fun. It's definitely a good time. Uh, signed up for jvzoo.com. This is actually the platform that I'm going to be uh, uploading my product to. And I was considering using ClickFunnels, but it does have a $97 a month reoccurring fee, which probably is better, better and has some other benefits, but I'm really trying to keep the cost down as much as possible. So JVZoo is a platform that you can actually upload your product. You can have upsells, you can have downsells. Um, you can recruit affiliates to help you to sell the course and people can apply to be an affiliate as well. So uh, my good buddy, Jim Pickens, who actually released the course Book Selling 101, he, um, he had hosted his course on jvzoo.com and he said that he liked it and there was a lot of benefits to it. So I think I'm going to give that a try instead of using Gumroad just because Gumroad kind of, I don't know, it's not really a platform to use for like video courses and whatnot. So that was the 10th thing. The 11th thing I did was I actually uh, networked with um, some people and I found a really, really good web developer to help me to build out my membership website. So I definitely have some experience when it comes to, you know, creating websites and whatnot, but when it comes to membership websites and a lot of the technical stuff and creating custom codes and all that, uh, I'm definitely not the guy for that. So um, I did find a web developer and he's going to be in touch with me. We've been communicating a little bit, but um, I just emailed him today to uh, set up a time to sit down and talk about my vision, you know, um, kind of like an overview of what I want the membership site to look like, the logins, all the different things that go along with creating a membership site. So um, hopefully by the next time I talk to you guys in the next week or two, um, I will have that project moving as well. And uh, the last thing I did is I created a private Facebook group for the people who uh, purchased the course because, you know, I don't want to just create a course where, you know, somebody buys the course, they go through it. And, you know, they start having success, but th maybe they have some questions or challenges and, you know, maybe there's something that they, they need help with. Like, I want to create a course where I consistently update it. And that's my plan. Like, I'm going to be, I'm going to continuously be adding videos about brands to buy, tips and tricks and, you know, interviews that won't hit my YouTube channel. Like, I really want to create a course that's the best, that's the top-notch course, that's constantly improved, That's that has a community aspect as well, that's very, very specific and focused on clothing only. And I know there's thousands of people out there who want this, who want to have that clothing network that's just clothing. So I decided to create a private Facebook group for, for the people who essentially um, – you know, just want to talk clothing. So in the sun by the beach says I liked Jim Pickens course because it's primarily videos. And I actually asked that in my, um, in my Google form survey to my audience, you know, what type of content do you want me to create? And a lot of people said they want it video based, but they also wanted some text based as well. So, um, that's what I'm going to be doing. Red Rocket TV says membership sites are not for an entry level developer developer. I'm glad you got a good developer. Exactly. Um, you know, I know my strengths and I know my weaknesses. So I know my strength is creating content and helping people and, you know, selling clothing on eBay. Those are my strengths. So that's what I'm going to focus on. And then I'm going to outsource essentially everything else from, you know, graphic design to the video, um, the introduction to my video with my logo that I'm gonna have to get created, which I'm going to share with you guys in a second. Um, but yeah, you know, focus on your strengths. Red Rocket says, okay, affiliates, yes. Will you be opening up a free preview module for YouTubers to review? I'm not entirely sure right now. I'm just kind of taking it step by step, but probably in the next um, three weeks or a month, I'll probably have that answer for you guys. So I'm just going through the comments to see what you guys are talking about. Johnny P says, great job doing this, Steve, getting it done. I appreciate that, Johnny. Thanks for checking in. All right, cool. So what's next? So what's next in this project for me is uh, number one, finalizing the slides and the video notes and whatnot. Um, and before I start creating the content, I want to have I want to have my slides. I want to have my bullet points. I want to have all the points that I want to make uh, to make sure that I you know I I nail everything that people are going to need to know. I, I need to get my slides done. So that's probably going to take another probably another four or five days, maybe a week um, to 
to get those done, I'm probably four or five days. I really want to be super thorough and, and put everything down. So getting those slides and video notes together. Um, and then obviously moving on to creating the content, which is going to be, it's just going to be a massive job. I don't know if any of you guys record videos uh, or any in-depth tutorials, but uh, it takes a good amount of time. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. And I'm literally pushing everything off everything else off my calendar to focus on this over the next probably 30 to 45 days. This is going to be, you know, what I'm doing in my main focus. So uh, creating the content, finalizing the logo, which if any of you guys do merch by Amazon, you know how it is with, with logos or designs, there's revisions, there's, you know, finishing touches and whatnot. So I'm going to get the logo finalized. Uh, also, I'm going to be creating a video introduction with the logo, you know, maybe like the logo sweeping in with like a cool sound effect to put in front of every video to make it, you know, just a little more professional and look cool. And then obviously working with my web developer to, you know, build the membership site and the sales page. So those are the things I'm going to be focusing on coming up. You know, there's a lot more things I have to do, including, uh, you know, getting my trademark going, more Skype calls with uh, my developer, creating a sales page, copy for the sales page, graphic, designing the sales page, you know, graphics for the Facebook group, getting everything else situated over there, creating a domain uh, email, setting up the JVZoo affiliate program, recruiting affiliates, installing the Facebook pixel, putting a marketing plan together. I mean, there's 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 a million things to do, guys, but uh, I just want to share with you guys kind of step by step what I'm going to be doing. And I think it would be really cool for you guys, maybe in the future, if you ever create a course or um, you know anybody who's looking to create one, you could just point them to this video and they'll have a really good um, idea of you know how to get started creating a course to be able to help and make the biggest difference. Uh, Red Rocket, I'm really not sure in terms of the pricing and all that right now. It's it's just kind of step by step. Um, it's a pretty overwhelming task. So, like I said, I'll definitely keep you guys uh, updated with you know what I believe to be the pricing. I mean, it's not going to be a super duper cheap course. It's not going to be like five hundred dollars or anything like that. But it's not going to be you know dirt cheap thirty seven forty seven dollars just because it is you know the value of this course could easily make people hundreds to thousand dollars a month. And, uh, and that's for like literally years and years to come. So I know the value of this course. I know that it's going to help out tons of people. So, you know, if you're just looking to pay, you know, five or $10 or just get a little guide, there's definitely people out there who have little, you know, cheap guides that can definitely help you with a couple little things, but, uh, this is going to definitely be massive. So, um, yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm just looking at some of the questions. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to uh, drop a comment. I am looking in the in the comment section. If you guys have any feedback or anything you would like me to create in the course um, or anything like that, you know, I'm definitely an open book. And you know, you you want to offend me if you have you know any any positive or uh, you know reinforcing feedback or whatever. I would definitely love to hear what you guys have to say. But you know, overall, I'm really looking forward to creating this course. Let me come back. What's up guys. Um, I'm really excited to create this course and I'm just pumped up. I'm pumped up to share what I know and what took me years and years to discover and learn and, and share with you guys, you know, the mistakes and what to do and what not to do. And you know, how that I've been able to like a guy who never got good grades in school, a guy who's always had ADHD, like a guy who like deep down inside, I don't think people ever thought that I was really going to amount to anything. And, you know, I always thought maybe, you know, I was just going to be working a crummy job the rest of my life, making, you know, $20,000 a year, which, you know, it's fine. Some people, you know, everyone's doing the best they can, but, you know, I wasn't supposed to be much. And I made myself by learning, educating myself, striving forward every single day. And, you know, I'm not a millionaire, but I have a ton of freedom. I can. I've got multiple income streams and this isn't to brag or impress you guys because you know me I'm not one of those egotistical guys at all but I'm sharing this with you because I see people who are struggling I see people who are clocking in clocking out miserable complaining they're upset and it doesn't have to be this way I'm not just saying this to you guys because I'm trying to sell this course to you and all that of course I love you guys to support me and buy the course and that's all good if it's a fit for you that's that's great if not you know, I still love you guys and I respect you guys, but it doesn't have to be that way. There's so many things that you can do today to start making money online, whether it's merch by Amazon or it's FBA 
or it's getting into advanced things like wholesale and private label, or maybe it's starting your clothing business on eBay, or maybe it's antiques or flipping bicycles on Craigslist when I first got started. It's possible, guys. I'm not the brightest. I'm not the smartest. I am the best looking. I'm just kidding. Um, maybe I am egotistical. Um, but, you know, anybody could do it, guys. You know, I wasn't supposed to succeed. I wasn't supposed to work for myself. I wasn't supposed to have freedom. I wasn't supposed to have, you know, a great amount of, you know, happiness in my life due to the freedom. I wasn't supposed to have money saved up in my bank. You know, when I was, you know, 21 years old, I was in big trouble with the law. I was doing things I wasn't supposed to be doing. I made a lot of mistakes. I was 250 pounds. I was smoking two packs of cigarettes a day. I was living at home with my parents. I was smoking the the funny stuff. I was hanging out with the wrong people. I'm not supposed to have this freedom and I'm nothing special. I'm saying this to you guys because anybody can do this. You just got to find something and just get started with it. So that's why I'm so passionate. That's why I'm excited for this course. And that's why I'm documenting this process because I want to be as real and as transparent as possible. And you know, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. Um, but I'm doing the best I can to be real with you guys and share everything that I know. So with that being said, thank you everybody. Uh, Red Rocket TV, best looking. Oh, uh oh, I'm blushing now. Um, Sherman Discount said, would be great to, to see a way to hire an employee and scaling up fast. My goal is 10K a month with mostly clothing. Um, I think that's a good segue into you know interviews and stuff. I'm definitely planning on asking a lot of my clothing buddies and my clothing gurus, if you want to call them that, uh, to come on and do some really specific interviews. I'm also trying to get on my CPA and my bookkeeper. I'm going to try to get them on for some private interviews as well um, for some advanced legality stuff, bookkeeping, taxes, entity structure. Um, I've got a lot of ideas, guys, and it's it's a big project, but I think it's really going to help you guys out and a lot of people out there watching it. So I'm just, I'm really grateful and excited for this opportunity. <laughs> Red Rocket says I should be shipping right now. Go ship those items out. So I think that's about it, guys. So um, yeah, part one, the creation of men's clothing mastery. Uh, part two should probably be up in the next, I don't know, 10 to 14 days. And I'll give you guys an update of what I've done, the videos I've created, you know, update with all the different things that I mentioned previously. But uh, yeah, I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for watching this video. Um, within the next couple of days, be sure to check out mensclothingmastery.com if you want to get on the waiting list to uh, you know, get notified of special discounts or bonuses. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest with you guys, what I'm going to be doing, but I'm definitely going to hook up people who get on the waiting list and the email list uh, with a special deal of, of, of some nature. So check that out in the next couple of days. That that um, that that WordPress page will be up and running. I'm, I'm dealing with some issues right now with lead pages. But uh, yeah, thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you guys soon. And uh, keep on picking and making that money, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.